Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Strobe from the Babbling Belgian, and uh, we're still playing The Last of Us Part 2. So we're uh, still in Seattle, in downtown Seattle. We're looking for uh, gas, so we can actually get a gate going. Um, and we haven't found any in the courthouse before. We've explored a lot of buildings so far, center. but right now Boston, we're at the, blocks. the ration sucked. distribution center. I go crazy. Some people did. So up until now we saw this building as just the domed building. You can't really see the dome at the moment. But uh, let's go take a look. We'll probably find a few more enemies in here. Um, we need to go through a turnstile. Is this, does this thing still work? No. With the trees in there. I would assume that that doesn't work anymore. Check out those stained glass windows. <laughs> I don't see many of those. No, not whole ones anymore, I suppose. Um, hmm. Fuel distribution. That sounds like exactly the place we need. Fuel distribution. Here we go. Fedra secured the shit out of this place. Boston always had food shortages. Hungry people get desperate. And we get another note up here. So, Private Miller, we've got fresh intel. There's an active WLF hideout on Spring and Fifth. Grab any available soldiers in your sector and head to the hideout ASAP. Execute any suspects, secure the location, and await my arrival. Sergeant Ward. Okay, so definitely Fedra tried to uh, snuff out the WLF before they came, became too big, but uh, we know how that ended. So yeah, what I was about to say was that I've seen a lot of uh, messages online about um, the physique of certain characters, uh, specifically Abby, how uh, buff she is, and I definitely noted it in the first episode as well. Um, I don't have a, a problem with it, because it actually makes a lot of sense, um, especially in, 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 in this world. She, the WLF has been established as a sort of... Uh, private, well not really private, but uh, civilian military group, uh, a resistance group, so they were constantly tr training, they were constantly probably doing very physical tasks, which makes sense that then that would result in uh, having a lot of uh, muscles, because that, I mean, that just makes sense. I think she can. Alright, I got you. Oh god. Ooh. Down, down, down. Stay low. Okay, staying crouched in tall grass makes it more difficult for enemies to see you. But specifically, yeah, they're talking about more difficult, not impossible. So if I um I think yeah that was that was listening mode. <laughs> There we go. I pushed the bottle, but we did trigger. There we go. Oh wow. And there we go. Did get hit a few times with that. Just, I kind of forgot about melee combat for a second. I had the gun in my hand, and I thought I need to shoot at this woman I running at me. But yeah, uh, looks that way. So yeah, the grass makes it more difficult, but clearly it doesn't make it impossible for them to see you. So you kind of get away, uh, maybe break line of sight that way, but if you just stay still, they will definitely see you. For, so for once, a kind of realistic way of portraying hiding in tall grass, which is, uh, I'm all for that. Um, so we've been using trucks to climb onto areas for a while now, although... Where the hell are we going? Are we going to the back side of the building? That must be the only way in, then. Okay. Oh. So we can go prone as well. And that probably gives us the same... Yeah, the same protection as the normal tall cross. I'm gonna... Ooh, wow. I don't know how much noise this actually makes. Is the clicker? Because I would think that this actually does make quite a bit of noise. And that the clickers would, ooh, would respond to that. I need to hurry up. Yeah, there we go. And then... 
Oh. Oh crap. Okay. Okay, that's the problem. It's gonna be a problem. That's a miracle. Ooh, that sounds really, really close. There we go. And then that clicker is gonna probably... Calm down. There we go. And it's sad. Okay. Is that the clicker still making noise? God damn it. Um, I think that's all of them. I don't get it. If there were still people around, they would have cleared this place out. Maybe they didn't make it here. Yeah, maybe. Let's find that gas. Okay, so we killed all of them here. But I am completely out of resources now, because I threw, I threw the Molotov at that one clicker. And then needed to hatch. So Molotovs have been nerfed significantly. So Because I remember in previous games, Molotovs were actually really, really powerful. And they could kill multiple enemies in one go. But it seems here it doesn't even kill a basic clicker. So... Gonna have to be really careful. It also doesn't seem to have as big of a splash area as it did before. So what are our resources now? I have one bullet in the long rifle, two in the pistol, and one in the revolver. And that's it. So I don't know if I can craft anything. Uh, I can make another Molotov cocktail, since I have two health kit as might as well. And I really need to find a melee weapon. Um, probably shouldn't be carrying that around. So let's just grab the pistol again. <laughs> and let's move up the building. I'm gonna have to try and do this a little bit more stealthily. Because I was just spotted at the first enemy there. So going crouched again. And then we're inside of... Seems... What the hell? This doesn't seem like a ration distribution. This seems like a courthouse as well. Um, or maybe a church? Ah, probably a church, yeah. I can see this being more of a church. Are there enemies here? Doesn't seem like they are. No, I can hear Dina in the back, but that's about it. So I think I might be able to just scrounge around at will. This place is a synagogue. Ah, synagogue. How can you tell? Uh, one, there are menorah decorations on the wall. It's a Jewish thing. And two, I didn't burst into flames just now, so... Burst into flames? It's just a dumb joke. Oh, unlike your other ones? You shut it. <laughs> uh, ha ha. So, uh, yeah, by the way... This brings okay. back a lot of memories. My sister used to drag me to a synagogue all the time. You never struck me as much of a believer. Nah, but I like coming from a long line of survivors. You mean after Outbreak Day? That, and the Inquisition, and the Holocaust. My family always made it out alive. Barely. Okay, so we get a bit of backstory to um, Dina. Which is really nice, because by the way, uh, talking about physique of characters, uh, since we saw Ellie and Dina pretty uh, bare before, um, they were also pretty buff for their age. Um, which is not to say that you can't be, but it just makes sense because the fact that they're doing a lot of physical uh, tasks in the town. Um, so that just generally makes them more more buff than anybody else in the in, in, of their age, especially in our time. Where the uh, requirement for physical labor is, in general, less needed than uh, in a world like this. Where we're going back to basics, so we find a few more supplies, but uh, I'll get back to you in a second. And then we get to the back of what seems okay. to be the ration area itself. So, uh-huh. Two more. Let's swap to the revolver and reload that bad boy. Because I'm assuming the revolver actually packs a bit more of a punch. I'm definitely grabbing the bottle as well. Because the bottle seems to be a one-hit kill if you can combo it with a strike. And then we can push this around and we can push this. Ah, this is... This brings back memories. Pushing heavy objects around. I'm just quickly going to check for resources. Nope. So this should get us over. No idea how we're going to get guess. back. Um, and let's try this. 
Because there might be some in here. Right. And yes. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Hey, language. This is a house of worship. We got some gas. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dina just got uh yeah, got in on the language abuse there. I feel like we're gonna get ambushed here. Not too loud. Not too loud. Okay. Do you still pray? Sometimes. Really? When? I said when we left Jackson. I said when at Joel's grave. Sometimes I just say little ones to myself. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to talk Does about that. Help? I think it calms me. Helps me put things in perspective. It's a way to deal with grief. A way to show respect. It's what I know. Okay. Makes sense. I feel like even though I'm not a, I'm not a religious person, I can uh, value the fact that prayer helps out with a lot of things. But can I actually use this thing now to get up higher here? I feel like I can, right? If I don't kill uh, Dino with this. There we go. And there we go. This way. And there we go. Aha! Right uh -huh. Found it. More resources. Eleven. Eleven scrap boards. And then this creepy area. Um, are those boards? What are those? Open this up. What's this? Oh, this is the Torah. The what? Uh, it's, it's scripture. It's like a like a Jewish Bible. Hmm. Oh. My sister would have flipped for this. The one we used in New Mexico was half burnt. All right. Well, at least I didn't just chuck everything. Okay. So that gives just gives us a bit more background information. Um, setting the scene, because there doesn't seem to be anything else in here. No. And we can't, of course, take that with us. Despite it being a, a very nice gift, if we could, but... Ooh. Please don't make me break the windows to escape. Because that would be really, really sad. I mean, I would love to... Go oh, wait. What do you think of this? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just noticed that as well. Is we can use the rope to get across. I'm just no, there's no resources over here, so let's just grab that. That might work. And then swing to the other <gasps> side. Oh god! Well, she just went for it. Ellie, careful. <sighs> it's okay. Uh, hold R1 to swing. There we go. And actually, it takes a while. And back and forward. There we go. How will she? Let's oh, never mind. Come on, Dina. Right. Okay, <laughs> she just does it. I mean, these girls are badasses. I shouldn't question anything. Ooh, probably should be careful. Probably should be careful. But it doesn't seem like there's anybody here, aside from pills, supplements, and then a calendar. Seven seventy-four. Are we in the future? No, doofus, that's a Hebrew calendar. For the new year. My sister used to give me an apple dipped in honey. Ugh, now I'm craving it. Hey, no, I was, I was, I wanted to talk to Dina. Ooh, that does sound pretty good. Jewish holidays are all about food and celebrating not getting annihilated by our enemies. A long line of survivors. Exactly. Aha, we get a, a note in the journal for that. Probably because we uh, found all the conversations with Dina. Let's check that out. While we're standing there. Um, was anything added over here? No. So let's just check that and read because I can't read it right now. When I think about him, all I see is open skin. Slack jaw, insides out. I won't let her remember me that way. I'd rather die alone. Was he with you in the end? More than I was with him. Beyond fate and pain, I want fate, true pain. 
That is... Damn. That is some heavy stuff. Uh, we also got a note here. I'm gonna have to read that because the font is a bit weird. Uh, Lieutenant Torres. 70 years ago, my grandfather fled Germany with his family as World War II began. He escaped thanks to the kindness and bravery of a Polish family. And so the wheel turns and the cycle continues. Tonight, my family has packed our belongings and due to your kindness, we will be leaving this city, escorted by your brave men. Thank you for helping me preserve what we could of our shoal. It is difficult to leave our home behind, but in the end, it is people, living people, that matter. You bear a heavy burden on your shoulders and I hope our late night talks were of some comfort to you. If I can leave you with one thought, for every turn away from a better world, there is often a stronger correction towards it. Do not lose hope for the future. As the old saying goes, it takes but one candle to dispel the darkness. May God watch over you always, Rabbi Ziva Shondus. I hope you got where you were going. I hope so too. Um, but that seems to be it for the synagogue. So let's go outside. Yeah, by the way, um, <laughs> right here in, in the real world, it's actually 30 degrees, over 30 degrees Celsius outside. And by the end of this recording, I'm pretty sure that this room will also be, be that temperature. Uh, there we go. Broke my ankles. Okay. Gate. Okay, so we got what we needed. If I wanted to check out the other buildings, I should probably do that now. Because if we don't, we might not be able to return to this open area. So, let's check the map. So, there is a one building at the end that we haven't checked out yet. Um, so, I'm guessing... So, that's on the left at the end of this back road. There? Probably that building over Getting there. Homesick? A little bit. You? Uh, same. Just having a roof over my head. You know, I've always dreamed of fixing up a farm just outside of Jackson. Why wouldn't you stay in town? I don't know. I like the idea of real space. Sounds lonely. Only if you're doing it alone. <laughs> okay. So are we gonna, like, raise sheep and milk cows? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no. It actually sounds... kinda nice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really. I love these little conversations. Um, and this seems to be a campfire of some sort. Hmm. Somebody was camping here. Looks recent. Think it was Tommy? Maybe. Okay, but that was probably not what was marked on the map, because I distinctly remember it being about resources. And at this point, I can definitely use all the resources we can get. There is something in the corner here, but there might be a lower level to this. Let's open that up. It doesn't seem to contain anything useful. Look at the sign. The West Lake Bank. I think we found the bank. Should we go explore it? Your call. Well, definitely. But I'm hoping there's not more enemies than resources, because otherwise this is going to be a waste. Ah, oh, crap. A doodle ding dong. This is not going to be good, is it? This is not going to be this is cool good and like a holy shit we might get crushed kind of way relax it's probably been like this for years it's not gonna collapse today i think not a thing <gasps> okay <laughs> I, I agree with dino here I'm, I'm not not convinced that you're right about this ellie <laughs> Okay, so this seems to be the lobby. Um, so let's drop down. Shit. You wanna bail on this? Um, no, we're not gonna bail on this. Bring body armor. Wait, what? Are you seriously telling me that these things are wearing body armor now? That's one of the clickers, but that runner is in the way. Yeah, oh, 
Okay, never mind. For some reason I didn't get the prompt there. I probably was just too far away and I tried to rush it. And there we go. We got our stealth kill. Please move back. Move back. Move, 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 move. move. Okay, there's, so there's a runner over there on the right and one on the left here. Should probably grab him while he goes past us. There we go. And there we go. Staying low. Staying low, staying low, staying low. And there's... There's one clicker in the back there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know. So I think we need to get to that clicker first. But that one runner over there is going to be really annoying. I'm trying to approach this as best as I can, but... The fact that there are multiple runners still walking around, I could probably take out this runner. And there we go. I don't know where the clicker is at the moment. There he is. That probably has a sort of range. So I'm going to have to be careful that I kill the... Because the clicker does a, a loop around that... Um, that pillar over there. So if he moves around... Then I should be able to knife this uh, runner in the face. There we go. Need to keep an eye out for the clicker. Just need to be really, really careful now. Oh, Dina. There we go, just called it in time. <laughs> he was about to turn around. That was... Okay, that was really tense. But I think we cleared them out. Okay. That's all of them. <laughs> okay. Well, we found the bank. Well, at least we did that without spending resources. They don't look like soldiers. Yeah. Not sure. These might be XWLF then. Because they don't look like soldiers, but they have equipment like soldiers, so... Civilian soldiers kind of make sense with uh, the Washington Liberation Front. Now, let's take a look around if there are any resources here. I would suppose so. I'm not going through all of that trouble to uh, not have anything over here. Although, that all seems to be empty. Aha! But there's a back room here that seems to have quite a few... Things over here. What's this? A bag? Can we can we look around in the bag? Ooh. Six oh two three oh six. Armor guys were trying to rob the bank. Oh shit! It's like that movie. Which one? The one with the surfer bank robbers. Oh yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> They're talking about point break, aren't they? Uh, so drop off, NKB, hit front door at one o'clock. So yeah, bank robbers indeed. But more, most importantly, the code for the vault is 602306. So let's take that with us. And then we can probably find, yep, some more explosives. Aha, and this is actually the vault door. It's just right over here. So 602306. And that is one giant fold door. And that... I love that that all still works. I mean, it's mechanical, so it does make sense. Wow, that was loud. Okay. So that... Ooh, is that a shotgun? That is a shulty. That is a shulty. He did kill himself with it, but look at that bad boy. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Only one round, of course, but uh, lovely. A hey, shotgun. That was definitely worth the, the tense moment there. All the money in the world, but... Look at all this money. The bag's full. 
Man, if we were back in the old world, whew, we'd be rich. So yeah, now we get the note from the guy that killed himself, probably. Fuck this, I wasn't even supposed to be here. Fucking Neil roped me in and said the police would be too busy chasing all those sick people running around. Said this place would be easy pickings. So of course those sick fuckers showed up and everything went to shit. Pulled one of them off Kyle and nearly lost my arm with all the fucking bites. And then my own guys lock me in here. The cops will get here soon. If I go down, then my friends go down with me. I'll tell the newspapers, tell everyone on TV that Kyle Peters, Leon Travis and Neil Grant are motherfucking cowards. I feel really fucking weird right now, sweating like a pig, arms all red and black where I got bit. Can't keep my thoughts straight. Oh shit, is this how it happens? Am I turning into one of them? Fuck that, if I'm going out, I'll go out like a fucking man. They tried robbing the bank on outbreak day. Probably seemed smart at the time. And then he had to kill himself because he got bitten. And that indeed is a lot of money. But do we have something interesting here? That is the question. Why did you let me... Ah, oh, wait. There's something in there. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, naughty dog. You naughty. Not naughty dog. So this is the, the ring from uh, Nathan Drake. Sick Parvis Magna. So uh, there we go, Sick Parvis Magna. So uh, Francis Drake's ring, so let's put that away. Do we get a trophy for that? Because that seems really, really specific. Um, apparently not, but there we go. A lot of money. Ah, there we go. So great and so small at the same time. So yeah, the Latin actually means greatness from small beginnings. So that's uh, what that trophy title is referencing. And that seems to be it. So the ring and a shotgun. Well, I'm not one to complain, so definitely happy with my new shotty. Although I could use more than one bullet. That, that would be that would be like really nice. Is there any one of these that I can open up? Doesn't seem like it. Oh crap! Holy crap, there's two new enemies. Where the hell did they come from? Um well, this is bullshit. So, the clicker is on the right, and the other one... I should probably turn off the light. The other one stayed in the middle, I think. So, ooh. Oh, crap -a doodles Okay, so they're going over there. So, that clicker just keeps going in this direction. I could... Okay, so that... The runner is over there, so the clicker just keeps moving. That's not in my direction. Please, please move forward so I can just... There we go. And then I'm probably gonna get... Oh no, Dina actually took out the runner. Okay. That was nice. Okay. I think we're done with this place. Yeah, I think we are. Did, did she drop something? Something useful? No. Yeah, I think I think we're definitely done with this place because the elevators aren't gonna work. <laughs> that would be ridiculous there, and we uh, get it marked off immediately, so that makes sense. Whew. Location complete. So let's get out of here and get back to Shiver. Hey, if you lived in the old world, what would you buy with all that money? I don't know. Maybe a farmhouse. But you can get a farmhouse now. Okay. What would you get? A space shuttle? Oh, no, that's right. Your astronaut thing. Hey, it's cooler than a farmhouse. A farmhouse is way more practical. <sighs> okay, so there we go. This um, was crazy. It was. I got a shotgun out of it, so not complaining. Indeed, okay, I am not. Let's get back to the fuck Fedrigate. Uh, fuck Fedrigate, but I'm gonna take a quick detour to the weapons workbench. See you guys in a second. So, I wanna see what the shotgun actually has to offer us. Because if we can... Okay, so it's only fire rate, fire rate, stability, and capacity. So increase the magazine size. Or replace the grip to reduce recoil and decrease weapon sway. Or the fire rate. Hmm... Weapon sway is really, really useful, by the way, so I might as well do that on the pistol first, because we're going to get more 
Yeah, more out of that. So that's that. So we already have the stability, but we could go for the recoil. So, but that doesn't actually impact sway on the pistol. Um, although I could use the accuracy boost, so let's just craft that. I'm gonna get some fancy animation. Ooh, fancy. Very, very fancy. Thank you, Ellie. And then we get... What's this, by the way? Because we have the, the long rifle, but... Aha! For damage, we need to... Hmm. We need 100 scraps for that. Um, for now, I might as well just reduce the stability. Uh, increase the stability. <laughs> because... Uh, a long rifle is useful, useless if it doesn't have a, a stable... Uh, Stable aiming mode. There we go. So that's very, very nice. So that what, what, what did we actually change on that? Did we so add weight to the stock? Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. There we go. Two weapon upgrades added to our arsenal. And then I think we could also, yeah. So we, ooh, that's a nice detail. She even puts the bullet back in. So she removed the bullet when we started working on it and then added it back in. I'm also going to check out if we can buy another upgrade. We can increase our health actually. And that is what we wanted so might as well do that right now. There we go. Increased health. That is 25. So an extra bar of health. That is really really nice. Let's just go back to the pistol just because it's uh, a bit more practical. And uh, we'll head back to the fuck Fedra gate. I did find another bag. Gavin, Derek got into some business with a broken window last week. He would have lost his damn leg if we hadn't rushed him back to the Sayavena. I went ahead and stashed some supplies at a couple of sites downtown for any future emergencies. Broken legs, infected, Derek fuck-ups, or whatever. Since you're going that way anyway, can you resupply the stash at the West 2 checkpoint? Gate hasn't worked for years, but the combination is the old code for West 2. I think we grabbed that, right? I think that's the save we we already opened up, if I recall correctly. Because I think otherwise Ellie would have probably noted it, and she didn't right now. So I could quickly check that on the map, but I think I did. Yeah, I think so. That was on this side, and we definitely checked that out. So okay, moving on. Well, that was an adventure. Haven't found any of them yet. Hey. It's a big city. We barely started looking. Yeah, I know. Just thought we'd see one of them by now. Okay, indeed, because it's really weird that we haven't. It seems like some of the buildings might be enterable as well, but... Um, that's not the fuck Fedra gate, right? No, 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 no. Or it is, it is, it is, never mind. I thought there was another gate here. So, we needed to gas up the place where the wire was yeah there we go that thing that thing we needed to gas up the generator and then use it so let's just plug our gasoline in there, there we go we do we do we do and that should be enough at least to get the gate open I got it you put in the code and we leave the canister over here, so that means that we'll probably don't, hey, don't need it anymore. These generators are pretty finicky, so it might take you a few tries to... Oh. Sorry, go on? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, East 2. I need to check. No, no, don't crouch. Yeah, there we go. Let's just go into the journal. And it's East 2, so it's 5345. 5345. So let's grab that. And five. <laughs> well, no welcome to me. Or they're just waiting for us. Yeah. This, I mean, I'm on edge. Can we enter any of these windows. buildings? No. I should probably just stay in the shadows. Although I might be uh, imagining things a bit too much now. But, uh, yeah, I want to stay out of sight of that building. Here we go. Wolf. W-L-F. I get it. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Ah, 
So that's why we've seen it on top of one another constantly, so we wouldn't make that uh, that acronym on our own. That's a bit silly, but okay, fair enough. So if you want to make the wolf your uh, your icon, then you would make it a bit more obvious. This doesn't seem openable. Okay, I was trying to find a few more supplies, but this seems like it's gonna be factoring into something sooner or later, because... <laughs> There's like a, a pretty obvious door up there with a, a broken railing and then this this uh, caravan. So that's probably where we're going to exit the building. That is a very nice logo, by the way. Just a little seahorse. And then on the side we have a bus and another caravan. Just going on foot. There is, there is a, a chair on top of the bus. So it was definitely used at it. Infected just popped that fence. What? Oh, means we can get in that way. What? What? How? Shouldn't we hear gunshots or something? Probably. Uh, I don't know what's going on. That was a bit weird, now wasn't it? Um, I'm, I'm going to take the bottle first because the bottle is the most uh, expendable thing that we have. There is another generator here for East Gate One. And that's basically the same thing. So generate it with gasoline, probably. Um, I can try it, but I'm assuming. For this I'm not sure. No, we don't. No, we don't, because it was uh, it was scratched out. So the only way is inside the infested hotel. It seems like. Yeah, yeah. I don't need a hint. Put, do that. Put, put that away. I'm just exploring. Here we go. Why? <laughs> Just crouch down. There's at least one over there near the door. But that seems to be it. For now, at least. There are these nice supply boxes over here, which... I would, I would think that we might be able to, to pry them open, but apparently not. So let's go. I'm just gonna loop around the bus here first. So I want to make sure that we've seen every corner before we enter the building. So there's one guy that went in. Oh wow. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I should probably try and put uh, a Molotov in there if that second guy is there. And that other guy just joins that group again. I might throw a Molotov cocktail in there. There we go. I don't think they spotted us. Oh god. Oh god, okay. That ended better than expected. Okay. That's that. Okay. And now we can craft something again. Is that another Molotov cook? And we can make another Molotov cocktail. There we go. Okay, so we got our resources back, which is really, really nice. Okay. So we got that with just melee combat. That could have been a lot worse. But yeah, about six infected, five infected. That were huddled up here. We killed three with the Molotov cocktails. So it seems perfect value to me. So another bit of rags. And we're going to start exploring this place a little. So I'll get back to you once we hit dialogue or uh, something useful. So there's a dead guy over here from Wolf. Um, this one's fresh. And he's got one of those wolf patches. And he's got... didn't make it out with their gas after all. No. That's good, right? Those fuckers who killed Joel got taken out by some random infected. Then they'd still be dead, Ellie. I'm not sure that's justice. Well, I think, well, not really, we but... we well grab what we can while we're here. Yeah, there was another bit of ammo down next to him, so that's another bullet for the long gun. So that is nice, at least. Uh, there's a few doors we can open up, and I'm just going to explore the main area first. So... It definitely seems like they were hiding out over here because there's but they were pretty relaxed because there's like even a gambling table over there but the only way to go is 
this door. It seems like there's a pipe on the other side. We can probably grab that as a melee weapon. No, no, I, I want that. I want that. Ellie, can you please pick that up? Because, uh, ooh, and now we can, of course, craft a better one if we make it out alive. Where is there somebody still over here? Because I don't know. This seems like a trap. I've been shot. Ooh. You recognize him? No. Maybe someone else killed these guys. The infected just wandered in. That could be the case, definitely. But it seems like there's no enemies just yet. So let's just uh, grab everything that's not nailed down, I suppose. We're actually full in one of the resources right now. That explosive powder. Uh, so we might as well build another one of those uh, stun bombs. There we go. So we can have the space available to grab another one. Oh, no, don't, don't, no need to light that again. Calm down, Ellie. And then there's something over hey, here. Found their gas. Well, if we need any more, we know where to get it. Yeah, they have quite a lot of it actually. Or it's just here so we can blow it up later. That might also be a, a solution because this seems like a very, very explosive corner of the building. Um, which means that the only way is quite literally up. But seems to be blood on the side of the staircase here, so I'm gonna precautiously crouch. Yeah, definitely we're shot by someone. Um, this is locked off. But it seems like we're gonna see more enemies. I don't recognize this one either. Although it did look like the infected were just moving in. They just started moving in, which is weird. That would be really coincidental. Um, and there's a yellow book here. What's this? Training manuals. Okay, let's read that. So, the survivalist guide. Ooh. So, reveal new upgrade branches. 12 duct tape brands compared. Okay. So, that means that we now have the stealth upgrade tree. And I am sad that we didn't... Ooh, we can craft silencers that make shots silent until it breaks. That is really, really cool. And it requires a rag and a canister and we can take three shots with a silencer then. Listen mode clarity, faster prone movement, improved silencers and faster stealth kills. Ooh, I want that. That sounds really, really good. Yeah, faster stealth kills. That was double the speed. Definitely want to have that. But there seems to be a lot of goodies in here. So, exploding. There's a letter in one of the drawers as well. We found 18 pills. So that's going to come in handy. Our strike against the Federal checkpoint worked. Killed at least three of those thugs. Just a few wounded on our side. In the wake of our losses, it felt good to hit back. That night, we voted Isaac as the new commander. It was a contentious meeting. His summary execution of those prisoners still doesn't sit right with some people, but I like him. He can make the tough calls. I'm fucking exhausted, but for a good reason. We've had eight new recruits show up in the last few days, and six are Fedra deserters. Isaac's directive is clearly fucking working. It's either that or all those flyers. People are taking us seriously now, finally seeing the wolf as a real alternative. We'll kick those fascists out and rebuild on the foundations Emma and Jason laid. Okay. Interesting. Um, but for now, the rest of the hotel seems quiet. And there's another collectible card. Let's just grab that. But I feel like this is going to be an area we're going to have to run out of. Because um, for now, there are no enemies. And if there's no enemies on this side of the... The hotel. I'm gonna assume that even higher up there won't be any either. And then there's a room with a red light. Oh, okay. So this guy was tortured. That doesn't look too the good. No, doesn't it? Tommy did this. Oh, makes this? sense. No way. That was definitely him. This wow. One's a kill Joel. So Tommy killed this entire building. That is 
very impressive. Not like we haven't done stuff like that before, but wow. Shit. There's another one over here. Well, he killed at least five or six people so far. What's that? Ah, oh, that's the code for east for the east gate. I don't recognize it. Seven three zero two east one. He was using them against each other. How? Joel told me about this. You ask this guy a question, but you don't make him say it. You make him write it down. And then you ask this guy, and if the facts match, we're telling the truth. If not, you fuck him up. Yeah. East one. Another gate code? Looks like it. Well, it's pretty convenient for us that they wrote it down. This just happened now. He can't be far off. Yeah, I was just thinking that because the the runners were only now entering entering the building. So he definitely isn't far ahead of us anymore. So when we uh, find him in the next skirmish, he's he's probably going to be still going at it. Come on. We can get out this way. Um okay. Maybe catch up with Tommy. But maybe there's something... Yeah. I mean, there's entire casings of ammo here. Can't I just open that up? Oh, I hate that inconsistency with The Last of Us sometimes. Oh, can't I open this door anymore? That's annoying. Um, well, before we move forward, I think I'm going to take a little break. Because uh, I don't know what's going to happen once we exit this room. So I'm going to be careful. Um, so thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one of uh, The Last of Us Part 2. So thanks enormously for watching again, and see you next time. Goodbye.